Hey everyone, you got the Bub031 here again, and we are back here at our favorite train store here in Southern Ontario, Otter Valley Railroad. Uh, we're here for a different uh, time though. It's actually a dealer's open house. As well, I'm here with Go Via or Go Home. So we're gonna look at what's in store for coming up in the future, what uh, the dealers have that's coming in. We're also gonna look at the shelves and we're going to take a look around see if we could uh, pick something up so sit back relax enjoy. so as soon as you walk into this store it is crazy you're greeted by the great staff here at OVR Lauren and his team awesome people here we have Walther's kits it's for all your scenery needs all the rolling stock from all the major brands are here and their sub brands it's just packed because this is just it's not just a store it's a giant warehouse so whatever they have whatever you need it's there for you they have it as you can see we're now with the dcc doctor great guy if you need something worked on, he can help you out. As we can see here, we have a display case of all the locomotives that are on the shelves. That way there, you don't have to grab from the display case. You just tell them what you need and they'll go grab it off the shelf. So much product. You're just overwhelmed with this place whenever you walk in here. And this is my second time this year. They don't just have rolling stock or locomotives. They have vehicles for your scenery as well. Track pieces like joiners, track, scenery, lights for all that there too, paints, just to give it that little bit more extra bits. And it's not just Walter's kits. They have also Rick's products. These are fun kits to build because you can kit bash what the term's called and just make whatever with it because you don't have to make the actual building. You can actually just, whatever your imagine goes to. And then we have all our switches here, code 83, code 100. And then we're now gonna move on to the dealers that showed up. So the first dealer we have is Rapido. They brought in all their new stuff that's coming in. The E9s are here. They're coming, they're gonna be shipped out shortly. Coaches were announced. They also had samples of their bulks, their center beams, GP38s, the RS18Us, and they actually brought a sample out of the GP9RM and slug set. We're now gonna move on to Aurora Miniatures. And this is their factory painted version of the SD60F that they're coming out, their first North American locomotive. And it looks amazing. I can't wait to see the product. I actually have two on order. As well, they're coming out with two new cars. They're coming out with the 50 foot high cubes and they're coming out with the TTX rail bonds. So much detail on this locomotive. We're now moving on to Intermountain. They showed up, Frank and Donna. They also had a draw for a locomotive at the end of the day and Frank was giving us a presentation. Here we have Sylvain and there's his, because it's not just cars they do, they also do boats that you can add onto the layout. And that that is a massive boat in 187 scale. And here we have Otter Valley, they up today they announced their new car, which was a 6400 series uh, scrap metal car. And as well, they're doing a 6000s and they're doing the pipe cars. So they made a big announcement that day about what was coming. And this is the 6400 that is on the track running around the DCC doctors little layout for testing as well. 
Here we have GVO After Dark. He's spinning around on a table because we also have Mini Prince that showed up. And he is just being scanned for uh, to be a mini version of him. Also, what was done with uh, today with this um, Izzy Lawrence's daughter was 3D scanned as well. And it was going to a good cause for charity. And as you can see, this is the way it's scanned and it becomes 3D printed and you can get yourself to be a little mini figure. Takes a little bit of time, I can tell you that right now. Because you got to go up and down completely. He's spinning around 360 degrees. And there's the software. At first it wasn't working, but now we got it going. And what can't we finish off with without an actual speeder? This Fairmont is fully restored, ready to run. I can't wait to see the videos of this Lauren to come out. It was a great day here at Otter Valley. Let's head back to the house. Okay, now that I'm back from Otter Valley, that trip was a blast. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. So, the first kit that I'm going to show you that I picked up is a pipe stuff kit, building kit. Even though it's a diamond tool in engineering, I'm going to use it as a quick truck repair shop slash business for either the tank car facility or for the fertilizer facility. The trucks will go off to a certain area, park, mobile repair area, such and such like that. As well... I picked up a Walther's Cornerstone Hobby Shop Kit. So, with this, what's going to be is a few of us bought this kit. And we're going to be doing something in the future with all of these kits. And we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Basically, going to show off what we can do with this. Uh, as well, I picked up. couple of 18 wheelers from truck stuff uh, it's you get to be for the fertilizer area loading and unloading so there are cargill so I'm gonna try because I also got a hopper truck green truck that's cargill it's gonna match sort of the business area and all that and as well with a gift certificate I got I actually picked up an inner mountain car it is a cylindrical hopper potash. Um, yeah, so I picked that up. It was $20 off with the gift certificate. And there you go. I enjoyed it. There is some other stuff also down the line that I saw that I liked. And who knows what I'll get out of there. So we're going to just quickly wrap this up. So that is everything that i grabbed here at otter valley i want to thank go v or go home for taking me there and all that it was a good trip we i enjoyed it i also want to thank lauren from otter valley and his wonderful staff they are an amazing group of people to act to, if you're ever needing anything or any help trying to find something go there just ask I may make more trip. I'm going to be making more trips in the future to Otter Valley because I great stuff, great kits. It's amazing seeing that place. And yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. So get the chance if you get the chance, if you're in southern Ontario, go to Otter Valley. That's it for me for today. More videos to come. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always. Make sure the signal's green and keep moving down the line.